Hello, my name is Richard. I go by Ultra by Rich, and this is Ultra by Rich Meta Ads. In this session, we're going to be talking more about attribution and attribution settings and what attribution means in general. First and foremost, let's talk more about what an attribution window is just in the digital marketing sense. Here's a great graphic I've got pulled up here so we can talk more about it. First, you have interaction with the ad. That's day one, moment one. That attribution window can last 30 days. And in Facebook's case, that's either seven or one day. And then during that day, they can record a conversion. So either between one and day 30, a conversion can be recorded. Once the conversion is recorded, it's recorded as soon as they make it. And then now they have a post attribution window. So let's say they convert on 41, it's not going to show up as a conversion. So you can see anywhere between the 10, 28 and 30 days, it shows up post that it's going to show unrecorded. So this is very important for Facebook's case because none of these numbers are 30 days. These are all one day and seven day. So let's jump over there so I can tell you more about that. For starters, you have to have an ad set that is selected for leads and website. So that's what this ad set is, is leads and website. And we're maximizing the number of conversions on my pixel ultra by rich and we're targeting ultra by rich new leads. So the form on my website, we want people to fill that out. And when they do, it triggers this event. I have videos on how to set up your pixel and how to set up your conversion event in the description. Be sure to check those out as none of this will work unless you have it all hooked up, right? And then the last part here is the attribution setting. Now, most of our campaigns, we do leave this alone, but a lot of the campaigns sometimes require a little customization and attribution setting window can absolutely change the game for you here. The first option they give you is a click through window. Then you have a view through window and then you have an engaged view window for video only. So they are giving you a certain amount of control here. Let's talk about the first one, which is click through window. And the click through conversions are counted when a person clicks your ad and takes an action with a set amount of time. For example, with seven day click, the Facebook system will learn from the conversion that happens within the seven days and show ads to people most likely to convert within seven days. So generally speaking, a click through window of seven days is appropriate. Shortening this up wouldn't necessarily help you if you were doing a local service campaign. Whereas if you had something event based and you wanted a shorter timeline, you would want a shorter click through window. So in this case, I would recommend a seven day click through window, meaning they took action. They clicked on your ad. They went to your website. You don't really want to bug them again for seven more days. Now, in this case, maybe you do. Maybe you could say, you know what? I'm going to give them a one day cool down. And then outside of that, I want to bug them a day later. And that's kind of more what this campaign would talk about is if you're trying to do that. Because again, default is seven days. So let's change this to one. And then for view through window, let's talk more about that. So a view through conversions are counted when a person sees your ad, doesn't click it, but takes an action within your set period of time. For example, with one day view, the Facebook system will learn from conversions that happen within one day and show ads to people most likely to convert within a day. So this is, they didn't click anything. This is purely all they did was look at your ad. They saw it, they viewed it as a view count. Okay. Now this is a lot less intentful, right? Now, if you're doing a campaign where you have one day click through, you probably do not want a view through at all. Meaning you want to display your ads nonstop until they click. And then as soon as they click, your ad is shown for a one day grace period. So they see it, they click it. They won't see that ad now for another 24 hours, but unless they take action, they're going to see it again. 
Now, real quick, I wanted to mention to you our done for you Facebook ads. There's a link in the description for a free one on one session where we actually go through your business and talk about how we can optimize and build out your campaigns. It's free to do. Definitely recommend it. Let's get back to it. So you can see with the attribution settings, this can get really fun when you dial in the audiences and I'll real quick show you what I mean by that. So you can say include everyone, but exclude I want to exclude everybody who is my current follower on Instagram or Facebook. And I want to exclude anybody that's actually converted to a lead on Facebook or on my website. So you can see changing your attribution window, fine tuning your audiences. You can make this campaign extremely powerful. And now you're not wasting ad spend on people that are already following you and have already converted to your website or you're through your form. Again, I have videos on how to set up those audiences. Very important. You have those readily clicked so you can build your campaigns as you go. Thank you for watching this clip. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a comment, drop a like, and make sure you subscribe.